In Sons of the Forest, we have various outfits that we, the player, as well as our companions can wear. Now for Kelvin and Virginia, and possibly any other companions we may get in the future, these are just cosmetic, but the player can actually get benefits from the outfits chosen to wear. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of the outfits, as well as exactly where you can find them. Starting out, let's talk about Virginia's outfits. When you first encounter Virginia in the game, she will already be wearing her default outfit, which is the swimsuit. So the first outfit for Virginia is the camouflage suit. This outfit can be found in the northwestern section of the island in a beach kayak right along the edge of the beach. Next, we have the dress. The dress can be found in the food and dining bunker just north of the lake with the little island in it. Now, this is in the secured area, so you will need the maintenance key card in order to get into this. And while you're in this bunker, make sure you grab the crossbow. The dress is found at the very end in the large dining area. Just be prepared for fight. Now, the leather suit for Virginia is one of the items that can actually be found in a couple of different places. You can find it in the crashed helicopter by the lake with the small island, which is just south of the food and dining bunker. You can find the leather suit in the residential bunker, and this bunker is one that will require key cards in order to access all the areas you need. You'll find the leather suit inside the same room where you find the katana. And last, we have the tracksuit, which is found in the gym area of the printer slash entertainment bunker. Now, most people think of this as the printer bunker because it's where you first find the 3D printer and can use one. However, as you go further in, there's a door with a key card. You will need the maintenance key card to get into this area. But inside this area is a large gym. And the gym is a bit hard to navigate because it is a little bit darker. But as you make your way through the gym, you'll come into this little blue lit area where you see a lot of the free weight machines. On the right side, you will find the tracksuit sitting on one of the bench press machines. So there you go. That's all of the outfits in the game for Virginia currently as of patch number six. So now let's talk about the outfits for yourself, the player, and Kelvin. Starting off, you both enter into the game with the tactical jacket and just like with Virginia swimsuit, if you change to something else, you'll have the tactical jacket in the inventory so you can swap back to it. The first outfit you might want to get for yourself and for Kelvin is the blazer. Now this is easy to find because you can find it in the mass grave in the northern section of the island. And while mass grave may imply you need a shovel for this, these graves are actually dug up already. You can find it in one of the open ones. Don't even have to hit anything. The hoodie can be found in a few different places. You can find it in a large cannibal camp on the northwest side of the island. And you can find it in a cannibal camp close to the shovel cave. The stylish leather jacket can be found in the stun gun cave hanging from the ceiling right next to the stun gun itself. And you can also find the leather jacket at the plane crash on the southwest part of the island right next to the deceased pilot. The pajamas are a much more colorful item and can be found in the printer and entertainment bunker. This is in the gym area, same as with the tracksuit. And as you exit the gym and come into the spa area, go right at the reception desk to the very far back section. And on the left wall on the shelves, you'll find the pajamas. The pajamas can also be found in the final bunker in one of the wardrobes, but I honestly don't recommend waiting until then to get them. The tuxedo can be found in maintenance bunker A, which means you will need the shovel in order to dig out the entrance to the bunker. You'll find the tuxedo in the very back of the living space of this bunker in the bathroom on some shelves. The wetsuit is found inside the shovel cave. Now, this is one you will need the rope gun and the rebreather to get to because you'll have to use the rope gun to get into the first section and then the rebreather to get into the second section. Once you get out of the water, you will have to fight a few mutants, but as you come up the slight incline you're going to see a rebreather tank as well as the wetsuit right there along with the fence 
The winter jacket can be found at this abandoned camp on the west side of the island close to the plane crash. It's in this tent to the side and the winter jacket, as the name implies, is the highest warmth level outfit. At last, you can get the spacesuit inside the residential bunker. Also, the same place where you find the katana and another leather suit for Virginia. You'll find the spacesuit on the desk next to the point of interest laptop in the third room on the second level, right before you go into the room to unlock the luxury bunker. So there you go. All of the outfits for both Virginia, Kelvin, and yourself. And of course, again, right now, there's nothing that indicates Kelvin or Virginia get a bonus from these, but you will get different bonuses based on what the levels show for the items when you wear them. Now, obviously, there are certain ones that are going to give you benefit, like the wetsuit gives you a benefit of moving faster in water. You don't get the effect of being cold and wet, but it slows you down the land. And of course, the winter jacket is going to make it nice and cozy for you, keeping you warmer during winter time. But the pajamas are going to make sure you have a higher comfort level. So choose accordingly based on what you want or just pick something because you think you look good in it. And hey, if the video helped you out, help me out, hit that like button, leave a comment below, let me know what outfit is your favorite and why.